Hey guys, it's Nostalgia here. We're back with the second episode of the Paladin Gear Challenge. Okay, so now we're in Nightmare, and let me just reiterate briefly for anyone who hasn't seen the first episode, although I'll probably have it in the description. This uh, little gear challenge I'm setting for myself is where I'm trying to get through Nightmare on, in this case, a Holy Shock Paladin, without using any uniques, sets, or rune words. So let's look at the gear a little bit, and we'll get into the farming runs I've been doing to level my character up in a little bit. So on my mercenary, he has kind of an upgraded version of what he was using before, just um, what he needs to get his resistances. The helm is exactly the same, but this one is actually e-bugged. It's pretty decent. I was lucky enough to find a four-socket partisan, so I put a uh, shell and a few ams in there, so it's pretty good. The merc can uh, stay alive decently well most of the time. Okay, so on my main character build, I crafted literally a total of three items. Um, that's my shared stash. <laughs> um, in his actual stash here. I crafted this amulet, and oh yeah, this is untwinked too. So I actually can't take stuff from the shared stash and use it on this paladin. I can export stuff from this paladin into the shared stash, just not the other way around for the sake of the challenge. So I crafted these three items. This amulet which I was using in LK a little bit before I got a few more points in Holy Shield. This uh, pair of gloves, which is pretty good. And this belt here. Yeah, this belt, which I was using for a short period of time. But pretty much until this point, I mean, I was trying out this belt. This belt is good when I'm not using my boots here, and I'll get into these in a second. These are amazing, as you can see. Um, but if I have this chest plate and either this belt or these boots, then I hit the 48 faster hit recovery breakpoint. So if I already, if I'm wearing these boots and this chest plate and I'm not hitting the 86 breakpoint anyway, it doesn't really make sense to use this belt for the most part. I mean, it's okay, uh, but it doesn't really have enough on it to be worth using if I don't need the faster hit recovery, I think, even though it has like a, a bit more defense than this one. But this is pretty much what I've been using for the first half of Nightmare. So these gloves, like I said, I only crafted these three items here. So this is pretty good, considering it was only one out of three crafts. Like, I have more points in Holy Shield now. Um, you can't see it. Well, actually, no, you can. <laughs> um, this, you know, this is Act 3 Nightmare Mob. Uh, it kind of sucks because they have a high chance to hit me. I don't have a lot of defense, mainly because this uh, this is only a normal armor. It's hard to find a really good magic armor like this with it being like exceptional if you're looking for a nightmare, and especially if you want an elite sort of like version of this. Especially if you want like say like a jeweler's halberd of the whale, for instance, which I might. I mean, I'll probably never find in my life. <laughs> it's that kind of thing is so rare. Um, but yeah, 73% chance to block against those, uh, uh, Nightlord guys here in Nightmare Act 3. It's pretty decent. Um, so I, I don't really get a lot of use out of this amulet, so it's only, I only get 2% to hit the 75. I only get, uh, 2% use out of this, so it's not really worth using considering I have this amulet here, which has strength, help me, helps me wear this, uh, or use this, uh, crow bill. So, since I'm on a Holy Shock Paladin, my physical damage only matters for uh, Lightning Immunes and Stealing Life and Mana, like with these gloves. So, I wanted to upgrade this. Uh, this was in a Longsword previously, so I found this Superior Crow Bill and I decided that it gave me enough greater physical damage that it was worth uh, upgrading and getting the three shales and... I mean, the Eth rune isn't really worth anything, but getting the three shell runes to make an upgraded version of this Eth shell, shell, shell weapon. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this took quite a while to gamble from Nightmare Charcy. Um, these gems I got mainly from LK. Same for about half the runes I got here. Other than this helm, I had this the last time. This I gambled early in Nightmare. It's pretty decent, even though I'm not using the Light Res. It has 20 fast run walk and good attack rating. Um, if this had two to offensive auras, I think I'd probably Larzik it. And, I don't know, maybe put 
either i mean i'd probably put like a ruby in it and then i'd hell rune it like hell town town portal recipe it you know to remove the ruby from the sockets later in hell and put like a, a rune in here for resistances once i get into hell and maybe i'd eventually farm an um rune off of nightmare countess to put in here if this had two offensive wars it, it would be like it'd like carry me through hell especially with an um rune probably anyway um so these boots are just you know i'm using the res too and with this 44 faster recovery and this 20 fast or this uh 10 faster recovery here i'm hitting the 48 fhr breakpoint uh so with either this chest and the belt or the chest and the boots i hit the 48 faster recovery breakpoint the next one isn't until i think 86 so i just prefer to use this belt here i don't really have anything better i plan to craft more belts so i can kind of replace this with something more useful um although this is actually pretty decent considering i don't really need more res at this point basically and i already hit the 48 breakpoint if i can get a crafted belt with 24 faster at recovery then there's a decent chance i might be able to go for the 86 breakpoint before getting into hell difficulty here so that's you know that's one consideration um this ring i was using for quite a while i can't remember if i had this in the last video i might have but you know it's pretty good i use that attack writing it's really helping me out I use a Blessed Aim Merc just because it's such a pain to hit stuff in this. And uh, Might Merc, you know, it only do so much for a Holy Shock Zealer, I think. I mean, it's nice for stealing life and mana and doing with Light Immunes, but meh. I prefer the Blessed Aim. It just seems overall more useful on this character, that is. This other ring used to be uh, one with attack rating. I don't know where I put it, but it had like 117 attack rating and maybe nothing else. So this one has, you know, the mana isn't a big deal, but a little bit of cold res and uh, magic find instead. So it's it's kind of cool. Has almost the same attack rate, and I get the uh, this other stuff. So that's pretty decent. Um, yeah. So I'll just show you guys a little uh, farming run. What I've been doing to get experience. Um, I also uh, have been using charge. I was farming the share runes off of Countess, so I was charging around. All over the place and i was charging a lot when farming lower cuirassed and believe me i was doing a lot of farming lower cuirassed so you can see i can do some pretty decent damage and unlike last episode actually i don't really want that i'm not going to try uh <laughs> you know i'm not going to try you know like killing things with my bare fists Whoa! They had it damage. <laughs> uh, they usually don't. That was only players one. Okay, I rarely get owned that quickly. I mean, they didn't kill me, but still. Um, so this is the run I was doing for experience. Wow, that just totally threw me off. <laughs> but yeah, I rarely get owned like that, and I'll probably just sell that. So, my gear has a lot of room for upgrading, especially, I think, the belts, maybe this ring a little bit, although that might be kind of difficult. Uh, the shield, kind of, this was, uh, this dropped, I mean, mainly I want an exceptional base shield with four sockets and decent resistances, because, like, this is only a normal shield, it doesn't give me good resistances, it's, it's kind of crummy in that regard. Or, uh, no, I should say it doesn't give me good defense. The resistances are okay. Like, it dropped as a 29 uh, resistances base. Like, $29 resistances. So, it's okay. So, that's that's those are the runs I've been doing. And my gear has a lot of room for improvement. So, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Ooh, a jewel. <laughs> That'll be nice for crafting. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.